Once you've got your environment configured, you may want to start using scheduled tasks to do things like place virtual machines onto certain hosts. Maybe you don't have a license to use DRS, so rather than having it place hosts for you, what you're going to do is optimize the placement of certain hosts based on what you know about the utilization patterns and say, on Friday, I want this virtual machine on this host or something along those lines. Or maybe you even need to deploy new copies of virtual machines for developers to test with you know, on a daily or weekly basis. So I'm on the home page of my vCenter through the vSphere client. If I look under the management section here, we'll see scheduled tasks. I go ahead and click on that and you'll see we can create a new scheduled task. We'll see that we can change the virtual machine power state, clone or deploy a virtual machine, migrate a virtual machine using vMotion, create a new virtual machine. Now, if this automatically goes out on the network, discovers a Pixie server and automatically installs its operating system, that'd be great. Otherwise, it might not be a great idea to try to automate something like that. But you can create an automated environment for it if you need to. Snapshots are not backups, but if you know that you make scheduled changes at certain times, you may want to have snapshots that occur just prior to that. Or these might be beneficial for archiving purposes or something to snapshot your virtual machines at a particular point in time and so on. So we can pick the event that interests us. In this case, I guess I'll pick migrate a virtual machine. Say OK. And then basically, we're going to get a dialog that gives us all of the things that we would normally be asked for if we just click that in the interface. It wants me to select which virtual machine. That's a little different because usually I'd right click a virtual machine and click migrate. So I'll pick this machine, change host, and then I'm going to pick the host I want to put it onto. If you haven't seen the vMotion video yet, it might be useful to go in and take a look at it. The key point here is that those are really all the options I would have got if I had just selected the migrate option on a VM. Now I can create the details for this task. So I'm going to say migrate w2k8r2-1 nightly. So under frequency, instead of saying do this once, I'm going to say do it on a daily basis. You can say do hourly, weekly, monthly, or after startup. We can see we have a bit of startup after the delay. If we click onto the hourly, we can see that we can specify a certain offset after each hour, or even to skip certain hours. Or if we do daily, we can skip certain days and specify a specific start time. Monthly, we can even say things like the first particular day of a month or the last Friday of a month or something along those lines. And we can also tell it to skip. Maybe we do this just every quarter. So I'm going to mark this one as daily. And I can have it send an email without having to set up an alarm for that. I won't bother with that. I don't have that set up in my environment anyway. So now we have a scheduled task and we can go back into the properties and change whatever options we need to. I'm just going to go ahead and click run. And other than that, we can see that it's very similar as if I had just run it directly in the interface. So we say run scheduled task and then we can see that it's actually doing the migration. I think in this case, the virtual machine was already on the host, so it didn't actually have to do anything, but the job did complete. We may want to go back over to the events and take a look at that. And we can see there was a task for migrating the virtual machine because it ran the task migrate W2K8R2-1 nightly, and that it did it. The scheduled task system is really very simple and straightforward inside vCenter.